love the fit of this jumper. It's got no pull-ins, so hopefully I've got the right size. And this is definitely going to be my go-to tracksuit. Yeah, it smells like fish. Tell me what do you Hello, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a boohoo manhole. Literally all things autumn winter. It's summer is over now. We'll probably say this is my favourite season of the year because it's where all the big coats are coming out, all the thick jackets, your chilled track suits. I just absolutely love layering my clothes. I absolutely hate the cold weather when it starts to rain, it's dark, it starts to snow, but when it comes to clothes, this is probably my favourite season in clothes. Just going to take you through each individual thing, um, show you what I've got, and then I'll try it on for you at the end. So yeah, I'm very excited to show you what I've got because I picked up some amazing bits. I've got two big, massive bags full to go through. So I'm going to get straight away and show you what I've got. So the first thing I got from the haul is this boxy distressed jumper. It's like a creamy white colour. By the feel of it, already I absolutely love it. Um, it just feels dead, not too thick, but it's thick enough and you can tell it's going to keep you warm. Yeah, I absolutely love the design. Like, I don't know if you can see, it's got these like distressed holes going all the way around the jumper. Because it is distressed and it's got holes in it and it's autumn winter, I would highly suggest you layer up. Definitely put a top underneath because, I mean, it's a bit too cold to be, you know, getting your skin out, especially in holy tops. Yeah, I absolutely love the colour of it. I think it's just a very nice, neutral autumn winter colour. I think if you put this with like some black jeans or even blue jeans, it just would look really, really nice. This is what it looks like on the back. It's not that much of a distressed design on the back, the one there on the back. So you've got the same rib design going around the collar on the bottom of the sleeves, which is also distressed and along the bottom of the jumper which again is distressed as well so i got this in a size medium and this cost us £17.50 for what it feels like and the quality of it and the, the design of it £17.50 like, i think that's a really good price for a jumper and the sizing of it as well looks fairly good as well so i'm um, excited to try that on and see what it looks like so these are the colour block cargo trousers and the colour blocks like a sage green these look absolutely amazing. Like I cannot wait to try these on. Like the colour block is just unreal. Like I love the two colours together. Cargo trouser style as well. Literally like such a nice wide leg to them. It's got like a nice little ribbed waistline. The only thing I would say about it, it's got it's got no pullins. So hopefully I've got the right size because if not, it's just gonna hang off us. So the cargo design literally runs all the way through. You've got your cargo pockets on either side of the leg. And on the leg, it's, it's very wide fit, which is what I wanted in a cargo. So I don't know if this is picking up on camera, but you've got like the, the official branding on the leg there as well. But yeah, just absolutely love these. Like, I just think these are going to look absolutely amazing on. So I can't wait to try them on. I got these in a size medium, so hopefully they fit my waist. And these cost us £24.50. The next thing I picked up is this V-neck varsity jumper in sage green and brown and cream so that's coming into fashion in autumn winter i've seen a lot a lot of greens wherever i go whether it be primark boohoo man asos they all seem to be using the same green but honestly i just absolutely love this design like look at it the v-neck i would say is my favorite part like look at that that just looks unreal you can tell already just by holding it up it's very thick so it's definitely going to keep you warm so the stitching on the front has got limited and this says limited again the design throughout the whole jumper just looks absolutely amazing like look at it it's just like a really nice light color block jumper the colors used on this jumper they go with anything i think i got this in a size medium and this cost is 21 pound um for what it is again I, for what it is i think that's an absolutely amazing price like i say i'm just so excited to try it on so the next thing i got is this shell multi-pocket trouser love the color it's like a light 
burgundy purple colour. I love the design of it. So just by the feel of them, these trousers are very light, so this, they feel a little bit thin. So I don't know if they would keep us warm. It's got like a nice elasticated waist with a drawstring. The design of the trousers are you've got like a big bulky pocket at the top there, a nice little inside pocket there on the knee cap. And again, as you get down to the bottom of the leg, you've got like two tiny little ones there. And at the bottom of the trouser, it's like a little cable tie design on the bottom of the leg so you can pull it in and cuff it if you like, um, totally up to yourself. But again, it's just the same design on the up. Oh no, it's not. Like a little zippy pocket on this side. God, there's a lot of pockets on this, isn't it? There's another pocket there, another pocket there on that leg, and another pocket there, and again, a pull-in effect to make it cuffed if you like. So, yeah. A lot of room for space and yeah, um, if you want to put like your wallet in or your keys, you can always just mix it around with which pocket you want to put it in, you know, go wild. Funny enough, on the back, there is no pocket at all to be seen. So I got a size medium in these and these cost us £26.60. So the next thing is these straight leg matte PU trousers. The design on them, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's like a nice it's like a little snake design and it goes all the way down the leg love the design of these and i think they're going to look really nice as a straight leg they feel very very leathery but they are just pu i think these are just going to look absolutely amazing on like i think it just brings so much to the leg like obviously the design of them and the color of them i just think it just looks really stylish so at the top here you've got your two pockets and it's got like a nice little button down effect as well You've got your two back pockets on the back there, you've got your Boohoo Man um, stitching on the top of the trouser and the, again the design of the snake print PU effect just goes all the way down the leg. I've got some PU trousers but I've got them in black, it's just a simple PU effect uh, so that, and they are the wide leg ones but I've never ever ever tried like a creamy snake print ones on so yeah god knows what they're going to look like on but um, very, I'm looking forward to putting them on and seeing what they look like. They don't smell good either. It's like a uh, burnt rubber, but like a horrible burnt rubber. Yeah. Oh no, do you know what it smells like? Fish. Yeah, it smells like fish. Probably just need uh, a, a good wash if I was going to keep them because I ain't walking around them and stink like that. So I got a 32 regular in these as that's my waist size and these cost us £24.50. Can't wait to try them on, see what they're like. And if I'm keeping them, I'm definitely washing them. The next thing I've got, um, I'm a little bit actually disappointed because it's come and it seems like it's a different colour to what it was on the model. Like it, it's a lot lighter, it's more white um, and I necessarily wouldn't really go for this colour. So this is the ribbed high neck jumper. Um, it's got like a nice little high neck here. It's not a roll neck so you don't need to roll it, you just let it sit on your neck. So it's got a nice ribbed effect going all the way down in the jumper, um, all the way into the arms and you've got like a nice little cuffed, elasticated um, wrist. And it comes down at the bottom, it's got like a nice little ribbed effect as well on the bottom. But like I say, on the model it looked more like brownie cream, but now that it's come it's like a white colour so I'm just going to have to see what it looks like on because I'm not entirely a fan of this colour. It just almost gives us like a, a white yellow effect and I don't like it. So I got this in a size medium and this cost us £17.50. Not too bad for a rib jumper but again like I say I'm not exactly happy with the colour of it. So the next thing I picked up is this oversized crew neck jumper in the colour Rust. So you love the colour. I think it just screams autumn winter. This is what all the leaves look like in autumn, so I'm very excited to put this on. It's just a statement autumn piece, I think. So I love the design of the whole jumper. As you can see around the neck, it's got like a nice little ribbed effect on the collar. And then going on to the bottom of the wrist, you've also got the same effect as you would on the neck. And as you get to the bottom as well, it's got like a nice little ribbed effect as well. You can tell when something's just going to keep you warm, and this just feels dead good quality, so I can't wait to try this on. So I've got this in a size medium and this cost is again £17.50. I think that's an amazing price for a jumper these days for men's clothing. So the next thing that I picked up and put in my basket is these high rise tapered black trousers. Um, I literally just wanted like something smart like just to be walking about in during the day because I'm, I'm going to be picking up loads of cargoes, loads of joggers, like things like that if we do ever ever get good weather in autumn winter. See if I've got like a nice occasion to go to. 
maybe I could just pick up something smart. So already, as you can tell, by just looking at the trouser, it's got an amazing design. Like literally, they look so smart, they look so tapered and tailored to the actual size of the trouser. Like it's got so many nice pleating stitches going around the top there. It's got a double barreled um, waistline. They just already feel like really good quality. Like they just feel dead thick. They just feel like they've been put together really, really well. Like along the top there, you've got like a nice thick elasticated band which is going to sit on top of where it sits so it doesn't fall down and they've got pockets yeah you've got your two you've got your two pockets either side just like a normal trouser and along the back you've got your two back pockets as well so yeah so i got these in a size 32 regular I fit me waist and these cost us £24.50 for black small trousers £24.50 i can I think it's an amazing price and they feel dead good quality as well so I just can't wait to try them on and show you what they look like on. That's very much. So the next thing I picked up is, it's quite a risky one for me to be fair. So I picked myself up a Borg truck suit, right? This is the jacket. When I say it's a risky one, you know how I feel towards Borg. Suffocators, I feel like I kind of breathe um, because I just don't really like the fabric. just makes us feel like I'm like... <laughs> like do, you know, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Because it's just like that thick and cloudy that you feel like it's just too much. So I don't really necessarily go for things like this. Um, but, you know, I just thought I'd risk it because it did look nice on the model and I like the colour. It's just literally all Borg material. When it comes down to the wrist, you've got your cuffed elasticated wrist there. It's got like a little high neck there. So if you're all going to zip to the top, it'll just sit nicely on the neck, keep you warm. And you've got like a silver half zip. So you can decide on how you wear it. I just think it looks absolutely amazing. Along the bottom, it's not cuffed with a different material. It's literally just got like the Borg material and it's just got like a double stitching going along the bottom. So that's the jacket. So the trousers has got like a nice little elasticated waist with a drawstring. You've got your two little pockets on either side there. And going along, it's like sort of like a cargo style Borg trouser. Because it's got like your cargo pocket there on the side and another one on that side as well. And the Borg material just runs all the way down. It's like a nice little elasticated cuffed bit on the bottom of the leg. That's it really nicely on top of your trainer. So um, yeah, very excited to try this on. It is literally all in one Borg outfit. So I will just see what it looks like on. So it is a truck suit, but I did have to pay for them separately. So I got the jacket in a size medium, and this cost us £15.40. And the trousers I got in a size medium, and these cost us also £15.40. So £30 for a truck suit. It's not really that bad, is it? So I picked up another truck suit, because why not? It's open winter. I'm probably going to be, you know, like I say, I, I'm going to be living in them. So I picked up this oversized V-neck truck suit in a brown... I just absolutely loved the way it looked on the model, like the model like really suited it and I thought, you know what it is, I really really want that. The design of the V-neck collar I just absolutely love and how it like literally blocks from colour to colour. So on the front it's got your American stitching, it's almost like a little varsity design because of the colour block. On the sleeves you've got the same exact design as you do on the collar, on the wrist as well and along the bottom. So that is the jumper. And these are the jogger bottoms. You've got the same design on one side of the leg, the USA design. Brown colour literally just runs all the way down the leg. And you've got like a cuff design on the bottom of the leg as well. You've got your two pockets either side and elasticated ribbed waist with a drawstring. So these came as a set, which I'm really happy about. Together they came at £31.50. And I got these in a size medium, so I think this is going to be a really nice size in. I think it's going to be oversized, it's going to be baggy, just exactly what I like. Um, and yeah, I love the colour, love the design. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased about these ones. So the next thing I picked up was more like a replacement sort of thing because my other ones washed out. So these are some black, slim, rigid jeans. Got two pockets at the front. You've got like a nice little grey, silver, buttoned down effect. And on the back... You've got your two back pockets as well, um, but literally not really much to tell you about them. It literally is just a standard black jean. Again, I got these in a size 32 regular. These cost is £15.40. For some black jeans, £15.40 is absolutely nothing. Um, so hopefully they look really nice and yeah, size 32 regular. Hopefully the fit is. That's them ones. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is, is probably the most exciting thing that I've probably purchased in this haul. Like, I was literally so excited to show you. It is an oversized cream puffer coat. How nice is that? Like, honestly, unreal. Like, the design of it, the thickness of it, the size of it, just absolutely unreal. You've got, like, a big, oversized, thick hood. You've got, like, a nice little button-down cover to cover the zip. It's got like a cream beige zip going all the way down. Like obviously I can't show you this properly, but I will show you what it looks like on. Um, but just all the way down, just a lovely puffer effect. You've got your two front pockets here. It's like a stone mocha colour, which I just absolutely love. It's so oversized. On the bottom there, it's got like a nice little elasticated ribbed waist, so it's literally just going to tuck and hold on to your waist. So on the arm of the coat, you've got like a nice little ribbed elasticated wrist, so that's going to sit really nicely on the hand. But yeah, I just think this is going to look absolutely amazing on. I think it's going to be so warm, so cuddly, honestly, I hope to God I love it. So I got this in a size medium, and this cost us £65. A little bit expensive, but do you know what it is? For what it is, and now that it's finally come, I absolutely love the colour, I love the feel of it. £65 I can definitely justify, so um, yeah, let's just see what it looks like on. So the next thing I've picked up is this Snake Leatherlug Harrington jacket. How nice is that? Already you can see it's going to have like a really nice cropped effect on the waistline. The colour of it, I absolutely love, love the design of it. I love the snake print, even right down to the colour. Like, look how nice that colour is. Just dead sharp and just dead thick. Already it feels like really good quality. It feels dead thick. Nice little zip down effect. You've got your two side pockets here as well. And on the back, it's literally just the whole of the snake print runs all the way through on the back. It's going to look amazing on, especially like in autumn when I'm walking about. Like, if you put like a hoodie underneath it, that would look really, really, really nice. Just layering it up. And even without it, just that itself would look really, really nice as well. So I got a size medium in this, and this cost us £42. For the design of it, for the feel of it, £42 quid is a really good price. So the next thing I'm about to show you is, I won't be able to show you properly because it is a trench overcoat. So it's so long, so big, but you know what a trench coat looks like, so you get the idea. And I will show you what it looks like on after. Look how nice this colour is. Like, it's like a chocolate brown. And it's so thick and you already can tell it's going to be so warm and I can't wait to try it on. It's just got this really nice oversized effect to it. You've got your little tortoise shell buttons going all the way down. It's double breasted and also what I didn't actually know was on there. And it's got like a nice little tie-in um, belt as well going along the waist which is really nice. Freaking hell just holding it up. Like honestly, the arm is killing. It's heavy. It is heavy. So you can already tell that it is an amazing quality coat. Two side pockets going in there as well. I've already got a trench coat that I got from, I think, I think that was from Boohoo Man as well, but, uh, or was it? No, I think it was from New Look. Remember New Look men's? That's not about now, is it? I used to love New Look men's. They shut that shop down. Honestly, there's no shops for men these days. So anyway, Back to the coat. I've got a trench coat already. It's like a, a mall sort of cream colour, but I've never had a brown trench coat, especially in this design as well. But yeah, I'll try and show you all of it, but like literally it's huge. Just going all the way down and on the back here, a nice little storm flap on the back there as well, so that's really nice. So I got this coat in a size medium and this cost us 42 quid. 42 quid for a coat like this with this much design and how thick it feels, it just feels dead good quality. I think 42 quid is an amazing price. And that is an absolute bargain that one. Okay, last but not least, the last thing that I got in the haul, right, is this boxy Harrington bomber in the colour green. Um, I'm not really a fan of green normally, but when I saw this on the model, it looked really, really nice. And even when it's come, it's such a nice colour. So it's got a shiny PU leather effect, which looks really nice. It's going to keep you warm because honestly, by just feeling the bomber, it's very quilted inside. I absolutely love the design of the bomber. It looks very oversized. It looks very boxy, which is what I wanted in a bomber. Again, it smells weird. So it smells like fish again. 
so it's not, it doesn't smell nice, probably just need to wash, I don't know if you can wash, can you wash it? I don't know, I definitely need to wash, I can't walk around with it smelling like fish, um, but anyway, so you've got like a nice sharp collar, you've got like a flapped design going all the way down and button at the bottom to obviously hide the zip, silver zip design going all the way down the jacket. So on the bottom of the jacket, it's just got like a nice elasticated ribbed effect. It's going to make it come in and hug your waist a little bit. So I got this bomber in a size medium and this cost is £28.80. So yeah, that's the last thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try everything on and show you what everything looks like on. I'm very excited because I think I've done really, really well in this autumn winter haul. So this is the oversized crew neck fluffy jumper in the rust colour. Um, I just absolutely love this on like i just think it looks absolutely amazing the fit of it amazing the way it falls on the wrist it just sits really nicely i think this is a really 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 good fit but i just think it's just perfect like the way it falls the way it bulks i just think the color of it absolutely amazing what i was worried about that it was just going to fall and just make it look longer than what it actually are and just makes it look like it's drowning us, but it actually doesn't. This is what it looks like from the back. Again, it just falls really nicely. It comes just on the mid bone on the bottom there. The first thing that I've tried on and just absolutely love it. So I'm definitely, definitely going to keep this. So what I've paired it with is these smart black taper trousers. Like honestly, when I said I wanted something smart, I was not expecting this. Like I thought it was just going to be straight leg, boring old smart trouser. But like literally, look at it, look at the fit of it. How nice is that? Obviously they need a proper iron. Obviously you can see like the creases and stuff like that. But the pleats at the top just give it so much more design, just make them look even smarter than what they actually are meant to be. I just absolutely love the fit of them on the leg. But yeah, I just absolutely love the style of these. The colour is just a plain black, very smart. It looks really nice with this oversized knit jumper as well. So yeah, very happy with them both and I'll be definitely keeping both. So yeah, can't complain, absolutely buzzing with these. So this is the ribbed extended neck jumper. So like I said before, I wasn't really sure on the colour. I like it, honestly I do like it, I just, it's not the colour I was expecting, but it does look really nice on and I love the design of the actual jumper. How the neck just sits just above the Adam's apple. It just, just the overall fit of the actual jumper I love. The way it comes down on the arms and just bulks out a little bit. So along the bottom it's got like a little bit of an elasticated fabric going around it so it just hugs my waist a little bit. Um, I probably will have to think about this one but even then I've not really got anything in this colour in my wardrobe so it'll probably be nice to have something like this. But, but this is what it looks like from the back. Again just a really nice fit. I'm really happy with how it looks on. The more that I look at it and the more that I'm like talking about it. Um, I do think I am, will end up keeping it like it's just I think it's a really good statement piece I've just kept it on with the trousers that I had on before um, just because I think it looks really smart together so yeah really happy with this jumper so this is the v-neck varsity jumper again I just absolutely love this colour I loved it when I saw it on the model I loved it when I got it out of the bag and I absolutely love it now that I've got it on every part of this jumper has just been so well thought of like just the design is absolutely amazing. I love the fit of this jumper. I just think it looks really nice. It does fall a lot lower than the other jumpers did, but again, it's a different style, a different design, and I don't mind it to be fair. Um, it's a lot thicker and I've got nothing underneath this and I feel very warm in it. I love how low the V-neck comes down, just shows off my necklaces a little bit. So this jumper gives you like the oversized look, which is what I like. It's very big, very bulky. I like how it bulks on the arm. The elasticated waist just sits on the top of the leg there and just bulks out. This is what the jumper looks like from the back. Just really nice, falls nicely, just over the bum area. I think it just looks really, really nice. So I've paired it with the slimline black jeans. So these are a really nice fit. I've got 32 regular on these. They just, just hold my waist. So I think I've lost a little bit of weight overall they've got like a really nice slim effect they bulk out on the leg a little bit i think both i think the jumper and the trousers they go really well with each other this is what the jeans look like from the back i don't know if you can see properly but it's just a really nice fit around the bum area so yeah really happy with these two pieces 
So these are the straight leg PU trousers with a nice sort of snaky print design on them. Um, these are actually really, really nice. I've just kept it on with this V-neck green jumper and it doesn't look that bad to be fair. I absolutely love the fit of the trousers, I love the colour of them. I don't actually have anything like this in my wardrobe. I like how the fall on the leg is very bulky on the bottom half of the leg. A little bit tight on the top half of the leg, but I don't mind that. It just overall, I think it's just a really nice fit. I think it's just a case of getting used to them. Like I've got to, I've got like PU black pair, uh, but not like a cream pair like this. And I don't usually wear anything light on my legs, other than like blue jeans. This is what the trousers look like from the back. Like again, it's just a little bit tighter around the bum area, and then they just fall really nicely on the back of the leg and just bulk out a little bit. So yeah, now we happy about these ones. So this is the boxy distressed knit jumper. I absolutely love the fit of this. Like this just falls really nicely. It just sits on the waist nicely, bulks out. I just think overall I absolutely love it. Like how nice is this? Such a lovely jumper. Like I'll just come closer. Like look at the design on that. Amazing. And this is what it looks like from the back. Again, just really nicely, bulks out really nicely, colour of it so nice, just like a nice cream colour. I love the distress design, I love the arms. I think my most favourite thing about the whole jumper is like literally the wrist cuffs and the, the bottom of the jumper cuff. Like it, it's got that much design in it that they've actually like distressed the cuffs as well as the bottom as well. I don't know if you can see but like they've freed it a lot, they've distressed it a lot. I just kind of get over how nice this is, like it's just a plain neutral distressed jumper. But like, I just absolutely love it. So what I've done is I've paired the jumper with the color block cargo trousers. How nice are these? Like how amazing do these look on? They're so oversized, they're so bulky. They fit my waist really nicely, which is what I was worried about because there's no drawstring. But yeah, even down to the crotch, there's like a low bulky crotch. Overall, I just absolutely love these cargo trousers. I just think they look amazing. I love the design. I was quite worried about the colour block, like not really showing that much, but I think with them falling and bulking out, I think it just looks absolutely amazing. So this is what the cargo trousers look like from the back. Again, just form really nicely on the bum area and just bulk out nicely on the leg as well and just making them look really thick. But I'd, honestly, I'm so pleased with these. Yeah, I've got, I've got to keep them. I've got to keep them. I've got to. I've got to. I've got to keep these. So these are the pinky purpley multi pocket cargo trousers. Just absolutely love these. Like I just think the design of them with so many pockets going down on either one of the legs. I just think it looks so cool. There's so much design that's gone into it. Um, and I just think they're a really nice fit. I've got them like hanging down just over my foot to just give it that sort of like wide leg look because I want it to sit on top of my trainer and then bolt the trouser up. They don't bulk too much, they still show the structure of my leg, which is what I really like about these trousers. Lovely colour, I don't normally necessarily have colours like this. Um, I think this is a very out there colour for me. But yeah. So this is what the trousers look like from the back. And I've just kept on this cream knit jumper with them as well. But yeah, very happy with these. So this is the oversized USA brown tracksuit. Like, how nice is this tracksuit? Like I don't, I don't own a brown tracksuit and I've never ever tried one on and I thought it would like kind of wash us out with his having like brown hair and like a brown tan but honestly I think it looks absolutely amazing like I don't know how I haven't had a brown tracksuit before like how unreal is this colour and the design of it as well just looks amazing just brings so much to the jumper this is definitely going to be my new chilled tracksuit I just love it I just absolutely love it. I love the way it feels, it just feels so comfortable. This is what it looks like from the back. The waistline of the jumper just sits really nicely on the waist. It doesn't really fall too much over the bum. Uh, but yeah, very happy with this one. And this is definitely going to be my go-to truck suit. So this is the oversized puffer jacket. Honestly, I'm in love. Like how nice is this coat? Like, I'm sorry, right, but this, with this truck suit, just looks absolutely amazing like and I'm so warm it's so cozy this is literally probably my most favorite thing from this haul like I just absolutely love it and I'm definitely 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 keeping this I just think the fit of it looks amazing absolutely love it I just I love the way it falls I love the bulkiness of it 
So this is what it looks like from the back. You've got like a nice padded thick hood there. The box got a lovely bulkiness to it, just bulks out and makes it look like a proper puffer jacket. I think the thing that makes the coat as well is like the elasticated waist. Obviously it just ties it in and just bulks it out. The cuffs as well, they fall nicely on the hands and the puffer jacket just falls over the top of it as well. But overall, I'm so happy with this coat and I'm definitely keeping it. Like I did not think this was gonna look this smart. How nice is this jacket? Like honestly, this is the green bomber Harrington jacket and I just think it looks absolutely amazing. Like just down to the design and the style of it, just honestly, I'm actually like, I'm actually really shocked. I did not think it was gonna look this good. Like just the way the bomber falls, it just honestly is amazing. Like look at the style of that. The way the wrist of the jacket just sits on top of the hands and forks out the arm, I think it just looks amazing. The bottom elasticated bit, honestly, looks amazing. It just brings so much style and detail into it and it just sits really nicely as well. Like look at that. How nice is that? I love, I love every single bit of it. It's very oversized and bulky, which is what I like. So yeah, very, very happy with this one. How nice is this? Like literally unreal. So this is another bomber jacket. Jacket. This is another bomber jacket, but in the snake print design, and I just think this looks so cool and so different to the other one. The other one was quite structured, but this one, well, I suppose this is structured as well. But the arms it falls on top of my hands, just literally showing me fingers, which is I actually really like that look. So again, the jacket comes up like a proper bomber style jacket. I just think it looks so nice, it's so small, it's so stylish and again this would look perfect on a day at night as well. It's so thick, good quality, it's got a good little bit of quilting on the inside as well, which is good because that's going to keep you warm. And you've got like a little inside pocket that I didn't like was in there. Uh, is it more than that? No. Like I'm definitely keeping it. Um, <laughs> I, like, I can't let this one go. Like this one's just absolutely amazing. So this is the oversized brown trench coat. Like, I just absolutely love this coat. I just think it's so smart, literally, so oversized, so bulky. The length of it's amazing. I've just paired it with a white t-shirt and my black jeans again, just to show you what the coat would look like on. And I can literally tie it up. It's got like a nice little belt. I mean, I'll probably have to sort it out properly, but even like that, I mean, I now look like Inspector Gadget, but it, it's a really nice, smart coat. So this is what the coat looks like on the back, it literally just so oversized, so flowy. This is just like an amazing autumn winter coat, like it's literally just going to keep us warm throughout the whole of winter. Um, and again, I can probably layer or put a jumper underneath it gets even colder. The way I'm wearing it now, it's, it's already warm. And I mean, I know I'm inside, but like, I just think this looks so nice and so small and the way it just falls as well when it's open. So yeah, put a buzz on with that one. This is the Borg Material tracksuit. I know I was a bit hesitant with wearing this, but this feels so comfortable. Like I literally just feel like a teddy bear. I feel like this is going to be the sort of tracksuit where like, I'm walking about the house, maybe going to the shop. Like honestly, just the smallest of things walking about for autumn winter. I think this is going to be an amazing tracksuit. Like I just, when I say I feel comfortable in this, I honestly just could go to sleep. Like I just think it's a lovely colour. Like I was, bit, I was a bit worried about the colour because it looked a little bit brighter on the model on the website but now that it's come it's like a creamy brownie colour but on the website it looked yellow like I just think it's a lovely fit I actually look like a teddy bear and um, the high neck on it is just unreal it's just keeping my neck nice and warm and I'm definitely keeping this like I've and that do you know what it is right I'm I want to keep everything that I've bought like this is the problem with ordering clothes all the time to show you is, what comes in because I literally can't send anything back. I've got that many clothes that I need to keep that I'm gonna have to uh, just change them out every hour. So this is what it looks like from the back. Again, just fits really nicely. The jumper just falls over the bone just a little bit. Uh, sits really nicely. I think this is just a great track to be wearing in autumn winter. So yeah, proper happy about this one. So yeah, that is the end of the Boohoo Man Cloven haul. I hope you like all the stuff that I picked out for autumn winter. Um, I know I did. I'm going to literally keep everything because everything is going to keep us warm. So yeah, more money spent really. Uh, but I absolutely love the clothes that I picked up. I hope you like them as well. If you liked any of the clothes that I've picked out today, I'll put it in the description below just to make it easier. I bet some of these items are popular. So hopefully it's still in stock for you. But I'll just put the link there for you anyway. But yeah, I've probably enjoyed doing this whole for years. Um, I love autumn winter when it comes to clothes. 
So yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you've enjoyed it, please like, share and comment on the video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, but yeah, see you next week for another video. Cheers.